Welcome into the show and a happy Thursday to everybody tuned in here on the San Francisco 49ers Report. I'm Chase Sr. And no matter where you are or how you're tuned in, we appreciate you for making today's show a part of your day. On the docket, I want to talk about all of this buzz surrounding Brandon Ayuk because he continues to be one of the marquee storylines across the National Football League. According to a report from a Steelers publication, Pittsburgh aggressively pursuing Brandon Ayuk and Pittsburgh would be surprised if they do not land him. Now, there was a report from All Steelers, which is a blog covering the Steelers. I quote tweeted that report, and I also did my own commentary on the report, and I shared some of my thoughts and opinions in saying that the asking price for Brandon Ayuk should be a first-round pick, and Pittsburgh could be a team of interest because currently they have the 20th overall pick. And Brandon Ayuk is the 25th overall pick from the 2020 draft. He's an all-pro player, one of the best wide receivers in the game. And I simply said that if the Niners were to deal him, that could be a draft pick that could be of their liking if they're not able to come to an agreement on a long-term contract extension with Brandon Ayuk. And I've said for a long time, I think the only way Ayuk is not with the Niners is if he asks out. Now, Ayuk's agent is Ryan Williams of Athletes First, and he quote tweeted my commentary and my opinion piece, which is much different from a report because I didn't report anything. What I reported in early March was that Ryan Williams and John Lynch are best friends, that John Lynch was the best man at Ryan Williams' wedding, Ryan Williams was at John Lynch's Hall of Fame induction, and they want to get a deal done. That's the reporting from yours truly, but Ryan Williams... My Twitter mentions are now on fire saying, I'm getting filleted, that I'm a fraud, that I suck at my job. Another report that couldn't be more incorrect. Fictional journalism should really stop, as one famous person would say, fake news. But it's not fake news because I'm not reporting news. It was an opinion piece and a commentary. And it's always important to remember that an agent's job, whether it's an agent for a television personality, an agent for an athlete, their job is always to get their client paid, to secure the bag for their client. Because in turn, if a player gets paid, the agent gets paid. That's how these things work, because the agent gets a cut of that contract for the athlete. And agents, whether it's Ryan Williams or Drew Rosenhaus, they always want to control the narrative because that benefits them, it benefits their client. And it's important to remember that Ryan Williams and John Lynch are best friends. So Ryan Williams could be helping the San Francisco 49ers out here by saying that the Pittsburgh Steelers are not interested in Brandon Ayuk. That's fake news. Why would you trust an agent 100% of the time? Just like why would you trust a reporter 100% of the time? These things are always about leverage, ladies and gentlemen. And if that's the case, that no teams are interested in Ayuk and the Pittsburgh Steelers aren't aggressively pursuing him, then get a deal done. And it's also important to say to Ryan Williams, your client is the one who directly tweeted at Mike Tomlin a couple of weeks ago amidst these trade rumors saying, they're saying that we really look alike, huh? So Ayuk to Pittsburgh. This is what we do, though, is that the Steelers all along have been a team that's mentioned most frequently as an Ayuk suitor for a bevy of reasons. The Pittsburgh Post-Gazette reporting that general manager Omar Khan for the Steelers really wants to land a number one wide receiver to put alongside George Pickens. On that offense with Pat Fryermuth, who's a really good tight end, they're trying to shore up that offensive line. I think they do that in the NFL draft to the Steelers because their defense is already in a tremendous spot. And the report came from all Steelers, a Steelers publication that Pittsburgh would be surprised if they don't land Brandon Ayuk. And Pittsburgh, all along this offseason, wants that legitimate go-to option for Russell Wilson and or Justin Fields. Remember, Ayuk directly tweeted Mike Tomlin. And did he do this to draw up conversation? Did he do this because he's eyeing Pittsburgh as a destination, knowing they want a wide receiver? They might be willing to pay him? Here's that report from All Steelers. According to a team source, the Steelers and 49ers trade talks are real. While nothing is imminent, they would be surprised if it didn't happen. But it all comes down to compensation. And Pittsburgh isn't willing to budge much on the price. With Ayuk making it publicly known on social media that negotiations aren't going well with he and the Niners, 
by unfollowing San Francisco. Like the Steelers have some advantage in these trade talks. Pittsburgh isn't willing to overpay for a player who isn't going to be around long term with their current team. So what they're saying there is that upon trading for Ayuk, they'd have to sign him to a contract extension. And my mentions have been on fire because Ryan Williams quote tweeted my tweet. And you can say whatever you want about me. I frankly do not care. My mentions have also been on, been on fire from Steelers fans who I think are absolutely delusional because they don't think that Brandon Ayuk is that good. They don't think that Brandon Ayuk is a number one wide receiver. They don't think that Ayuk is worth a first round pick. And it's hard to trust the evaluation of Steelers fans as a fellow Pennsylvanian, by the way, who loves the city of Pittsburgh because that fan base has watched They've rooted on an archaic offense that's been bad to, at best, mediocre over the last couple of years. And I have respect for Mike Tomlin. He's never had a losing season in 17 seasons in the Steel City, but he actually thought Matt Canada was the answer at offensive coordinator. And it took a lot for him to finally move off an offensive coordinator who is absolutely inept. Brandon Ayuk would be the Steelers' best wide receiver since Antonio Brown. And for me, I think Ayuk is definitely worth a first-round selection. And we're going to talk about that coming up here in just a second. Because what would the asking price be for the Steelers or another team that's an Ayuk suitor as far as getting this deal done if the Niners do move on? First, let's hear from you. If you want the Niners to extend BA, I want you to hit that thumbs up icon and like the video. If not, I want you to comment why. Stay tuned for all of that. But first... Make sure you sign up with Prize Picks, the number one daily fantasy sports app in North America, and the only DFS app that I use, and the only DFS app that you should be using. They make daily fantasy sports so easy. You pick two or more players, you choose more or less on their projected stat lines, and you can win up to 25 times your money. Get a $100 deposit match at prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use the code CLNS. Some Prize Picks futures here. Christian McCaffrey coming off 2,000 all-purpose yards. How about more than 1,150 and a half rushing yards for the 2024 season? He just has to stay healthy. We know that he takes care of his body. Michael Pittman Jr. signing that lofty contract extension with the Colts. Does he cash in with the big year after he cashed in literally? More than 1,050 and a half receiving yards. And I love this one because I think Derrick Henry is going to be able to find the end zone quite frequently more than 10 and a half rushing touchdowns for the season in that backfield with Lamar Jackson where you have the thunder and lightning combination. Pick more, pick less, win big money, withdraw your winnings all within the Prize Picks app. $100 deposit match, prizepicks.com slash CLNS. As for the Brandon Ayuk asking price, let's go through a couple of ideas here. The starting point in a trade, Brandon Ayuk is worth a first round pick. And if I'm the Niners, that is the starting point in any trade negotiations, any trade talks. He's a 26-year-old All-Pro who's still scratching the surface of what he can become because I think there's even better football player in there. And he himself was the 25th overall pick back in the 2020 draft. And let's say that the Steelers are the team that is hot and heavy on IU, right? They're notable draft picks this year. They have the 20th overall pick, Ike the 25th pick, and an All-Pro. They have a round two selection, 51st overall. Round three pick, 84 overall. A third rounder at 98, that's a compensatory pick from that Kenny Pickett trade from Philadelphia. And then a round four selection, number 119. You can package some of these picks maybe if the Niners do elect to advance in these trade conversations. Here's one of my trade ideas where it's simply Ayuk to Pittsburgh, and then the Niners get a first-round pick back, 20th overall. I think that's pretty equal value. The Steelers want that number one wide receiver. You can have them. But then the Niners need to replace him, and they also need some offensive line help so they can draft the wide receiver at 20 and then get an offensive lineman at number 31. Trade idea numero dos is where the Steelers get Brandon Ayuk and a first-round pick, 31st overall. So we're giving you the 31st overall selection and the number one wide receiver on this football team. So in turn, I want a little bit more back. I want a first round pick, 20th overall, and then you also give me a third round selection too, 84th overall. 
And that allows San Francisco to go about this as far as their team strategy goes in a way where they can stack up some really, really solid players here and they can find that Ayuk replacement in the first round or with a couple of different picks in that third round, does Brendan Rice fall? Do you want to reach a little bit early on Luke McCaffrey? Do you want to go after a Troy Franklin if he dips? And Xavier Leggett, somebody else to get a wide receiver in that third round if you decide to go offensive lineman or best player available at 20th overall. So a couple of trade ideas right there. Which one do you like the most if you were forced into making a move? Simply type one or two as far as those trade ideas go. Thank you.